You're everything to me. You're everything. You're everything to me. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. I see your everything. Is he your everything? What is he you? Is he your everything? Call him what he is to you. Come on, call him what he is to you. If he's your everything, if he's your everything, what is he to you? Call him what he is to you. What is he to you? Is he a healer? Call him a healer. Deliverer, call him a deliverer. Is he life to you? Call him life. Is he life to anyone in here on today? Is he life to anyone on today? He's the living word. The bread of heaven. The bread of life. Feed me till I want no more. Call him what he is to you. God, we thank you for being our bread of heaven. Being our bread of life on today. For being our healer on today. Our deliverer, our way maker. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Y'all know the song. Sing along with us. Bread of life, sent down from glory. Many things you were on earth, a holy king, a carpenter. You are the living word, saying, Sent down from glory. Many things, many things you are on earth, a holy king of God in time. Bread of heaven, bread of heaven, sent down from glory, many things you are on earth, a holy king. Awesome ruler, awesome ruler, gentle redeemer, gentle redeemer. God with us, God with us, the living truth, and what a friend we have in you. Said awesome ruler, gentle redeemer. God with us, yeah. God with us, the living truth. And what a friend we have in you. I'm going to call all of them together. Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus. That's what we call you. That's what we call you. Major ball.
Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, heal, heal, deliver, deliver, provider, provider. You are the living word. Jesus, Jesus, awesome ruler. Jesus, 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 Jesus. You are the living word. 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 Awesome ruler, gentle redeemer, God with us, the living truth, and what a friend we have in you, you are the living word. You are the living word. Thank you, Lord. How many really believe that? How many really believe that? I, now, I want to believe you, but if you could just do me one favor, if you really believe that, he's been an awesome ruler, he's in yeah, everything. I need you to forget about what's going on, forget about the frustrations, everything distracting today. And give God a praise from your belly right now. That he's your everything. He's my all in all. He's my everything. I need just 30 seconds. If you really, really believe it. If you really believe it. If you don't do it if you don't believe it. If he's your everything. A praise should come out of your belly right now. If he's your alarm clock that wakes you up every morning. If he's your food when you're hungry, your water when you're thirsty, your bridge over troubled water. A lot of times, uh, this is just, the atmosphere got to be right. The atmosphere got to be right. We about to go into all the worship and our pastor's about to come up. The atmosphere has to be right. I refuse to let the church be cold and sit here when God's been good to us. When God has kept you all week long. There's no excuse. I'm sorry if, if I'm fussing, Pastor, I'm sorry I'm fussing. But there's no excuse for you to sit there if God's been good to you. If he woke you up this morning, I'm looking at no dead people in this place. The Bible says, let everything that have breath praise the Lord. So I need everybody that have breath in their body, activity of their limbs, lift their hands and give God a pain. I'm sorry. I'm in a new place of mind now. I'm in a new place of mind. I got a new mindset. I don't care what's happening outside these four walls. But when I step into the house of the Lord, the Bible says, enter his gates with thanksgiving. And enter his court with what? Praise. I need everybody that can lift their hands and give God a praise. We have Listen, we have to get on one accord. In this season, mediocrity is not going to happen. 
We have to be on one accord with our praise. We have to be on one accord with our prayers. One accord with our praise and worship. One accord as musicians. As a church, we have to be on one accord. So everybody that's on one accord, we're going to try this one more time. Give him your best praise. Everything that you're thinking for, everything that he's done for you. One, two, three, give him praise. Thank you, Jesus. Just tell him thank you. Just tell him thank you. Just tell him thank you. It's already done. Just tell him thank you. It's coming. Just tell him thank you. Go to bed tonight. Just tell him thank you. Don't you stay up another night. Stop worrying. It's already done. Then let it go. Let it go. When you lift your hands, that's a sign of surrender. Then let it go. It's already worked out. He still got five more months. It's already worked out. I know he's been late, but he still got five more months. My grandma will say, man, that show, come on, we want him. But he's always on time. I think, do you feel better now? I, I feel a lot better now. The atmosphere is right now. The water's boiling now. The water, it's time to cook now. Prepare yourself now for three young ladies. Unified praise. Give them a hand. Anybody want to press a little further? Anybody want to press a little further? Somebody lift your voice into the Lord. Tell them, God, I want to press a little further. Press in your presence, you. Come on, we about to get out of your way, but we want to press a little further, amen. can just press, press in your presence, behold the beauty of your face. If I can just press, press in your presence, and never leave this place again. If I can just press, press in your presence, and leave all my cares behind me, I will be whole. I'll still believe I will just lay, lay at your feet, for I will be whole. I'll still believe I will just praise, praise out of your feet right here in your presence. Somebody come on and tell the Lord you want to press a little deeper. Somebody tell the Lord if I can just press, 
together for unified praise. Good morning, Zion Word. Do we have any first-time visitors with us on this morning? If you do, if we do, would you please stand? <laughs> if not, we thank you all for joining us this morning. We do have some, oh, we do have one over here who doesn't want to stand. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. We pray that today is a blessing to you. Our announcers are as follows. This afternoon at 3 o'clock, Minister Will is having a re renew and restore service. We're asking everyone to please stay back and support. And if you cannot stay back, we'll ask that you leave an offering on this afternoon. On tomorrow night, we will have prayer with Lady Cookie at 7 o'clock. On Tuesday, we'll have life study with Pastor Willis, Sister Bethany, and Sister Tasha. On Wednesday night, we will have mind and praise rehearsal with Sister Diane and Brother Jalen at 630 Choir rehearsal will be on Thursday night at 7 p.m. Praise rehearsal um, rehearsal on Saturday at 10.30. Friday night live concert will be this Friday at 7. Let us continue to pray for our sick and shut in. So glad that... <laughs> 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 yeah. 
Yeah, I know I'm a speed reader. Okay. Prayer is on Monday night at 7 p.m. Please take down the number so that you can join us on prayer. If you miss prayer on Mondays, you're missing something special. Huh? The phone number is 425-436-6360. The access code is 432-001. Tell Sister Lord she's not allowed to leave another Sunday. <laughs> Praise the Lord. On Tuesday night is life study at 7 p.m. With Pastor Jasper Willis and Sister Bethany Haynes and Sister Tasha Williams. That Zoom number is 994-268-4007. Dance ministry, mime, and dance rehearsal is this Wednesday at 630 with Sister Diane and Brother Jalen. Please have your children here. Please be here if you are a praise dancer. Praise the Lord. Choir rehearsal will be on Thursday at 7 p.m. in person. Praise and worship rehearsal is Saturday at 10.30 a.m. If you sing the, on the choir or the praise team, if you would like to sing, join them Thursday night or Saturday morning. Sister Lois is not allowed to leave again. Any more announcements? Deacon Tolly. And please remember, we have the change jar. As you all know, we did the boys' day this year. That was a great success. And so all year long, we want you to, any spare change you have, to donate it so we can fill this jar up three, four times so that our next year we can do bigger and better. So please, don't offer it any time during the service. Any change you have, please put it in the um, bucket. All right, on this Friday night at 7 p.m., Lady Cookie has sponsored a Friday Night Live concert. We have Pastor Howard Carr and Remnant. Jalen Newby, Pastor D'Angelo Lofton in Purpose Life, Joseph Haynes and Unify, the Williams family, Shy and Company, Pastor, a special guest, Pastor Maurice Davenport and Divine Restoration. And it's going to be emceed by Pastor Blocker. So please, on Friday night, don't make any plans. Make your date night here on Friday night. Happy birthday to everyone with a birthday in the month of July. And on today is Queen Bean's birthday. So happy birthday, Queen. For July birthdays, we have Lamonte. Is he here? We have Tori, who is also our 2022 graduate. Happy birthday and congratulations. We have Sister Lois. She don't get hers because she wasn't here. I'm going to keep it because she put me to work. And Janari. Happy birthday, Nari. Come on, Nari. Y'all put your hands together for Nari. And the birthday queen today, Queen B. Happy birthday, Queen. Happy birthday. These are your announcements. Please govern yourselves accordingly. Y'all give Sister Tasha another hand. All right, now this is the part of service where we're about to go into our tithe, prepare yourself for our tithe, but we have our pastor coming up. Everyone stand to your feet. And put your hands together for the greatest pastor, the 757 Superintendent Jasper Willis. Come on, somebody, let's give God a praise in this place. He is worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. I want to thank God for all of uh, the members and all of the can you give a unified praise of a hand of applause? They did an awesome job, didn't they? Come on, it's important that we encourage our young people. Amen? Amen. We also thank Sister Tasha for stepping in for Sister Dolores. You did an excellent job. I love that part of service. I love how genuine it is. I love how we laugh and have a good time during our announcements. Amen? But we want you to please... Please, please uh, 
uh, govern yourself to those announcements because they are in place for spiritual building. Amen. Amen. When we have prayer on Monday night, if you miss it, you're really missing something. Uh, some of y'all say, well, Pastor, you ain't up to she is in my house praying. I need you to understand that when you think I'm not on prayer, I hear everything. Because she is in the house and the neighbors is hearing her pray. Uh, she told me the other day she came out of the house and her neighbor, the neighbor just came up and said, can you pray for me? I hear you up there tearing up my house, tearing up Pastor Willis' house. Because she be in the house hollering and screaming. Don't nobody come out the house. The room, the bathroom, wherever they at. They don't come because she's praying and believing God. Don't you thank God for a first lady that don't mind praying for you? When I first met her, the first day that I met my wife, Billy, uh, she was looking so good in church, right? And uh, I told somebody, I think, I don't know if it was Tasha, or somebody said, hit her on the shoulder. Hit her on the shoulder. I think we was passing notes in, in, uh, in church or something. I want to see her. She went outside. I seen them all get up and go outside. I said, oh, no, they ain't going to leave me out here. Me. No, sir, they ain't leaving. I went outside, and I'm thinking I'm going to holler. And I get out there and about to holler, and I, she on the porch praying. She was praying hard, too. So my line was, I was going to holler at you, but when she started praying like that, I how old is you again? <laughs> but I met her praying. She's a praying woman. And I'm going to tell you something about my wife. God answers her prayers. Uh, she, she can pray until something happens. I've seen the evidence of her prayer on multiple occasions. And I thank God for her. So if you're missing prayer, I'm telling you, sometimes that's the extra piece. That's the extra piece. Sometimes you just need some prayer. You know, you need a little prayer to get over. You need to tune in on Monday night. You ain't got to say nothing. You ain't got to say nothing. You just get on the line and listen. And I guarantee you, it'll bless you. How many people get on prayer that, it, that when you hear it, you love it? Lift your hand high so you can testify. Okay, good, good, good. Go check prayer. Tuesday night is time where we study the word of God and it is an awesome time. I believe there that if you give God five hours of your week change will happen to you. There's 169 hours in a week if you offer God five of them, just five hours I believe that there's going to be a change in your life. Didn't we start that church on that roof? One hour for prayer. One hour for Bible study. One hour for the word and two hours to let the Lord hold, have his way in, in all of those services. Amen. And I believe something great is going to happen. Amen. How many of you believe that God is not finished with you yet? How many of you know that there's more in store? I said, how many of you know for sure that there's more in store for your life? Hallelujah. I'm here to tell you, you haven't come to the end of your road. But God has miracles signs and wonders a sign to you and a sign to your path I want to know is there anyone in here that knows how to praise and don't mind praising because sometimes things will get in the way of your praise sometimes people can say stuff and mess up your worship but I wonder if there anybody that don't mind don't matter who's sitting beside me. It don't matter what I've done yesterday. It don't matter where you thought I should be. It don't matter how many times I fail and I got back up. I still got a praise. I wonder if there's anyone before we take up the tithe that can give God a worship. Hallelujah. 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 I wonder if there's anybody in here that when they start to think of his goodness, their mouth can't be quiet any longer. But you got to thank. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. You're worthy of all of the glory and all of the honor. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. I'm going to say this last thing before I go into my going in a tithe. But don't you let anything snatch the passion out of your praise. Don't you let nothing take the passion out of your worship. It, your praise got to mean something to you. Let me tell you this. If it don't mean nothing to you, it ain't going to mean nothing to God. Your praise don't mean something to you. It's not going to mean anything to God. You got you to gotta understand that your praise is like your jewelry. It's valuable. Hallelujah. You got to understand that your praise is precious. And you need to understand that that's the only thing that the devil fights you over. He don't want you to worship. That's what the problems are for. The problems and the pressures are so that you won't lift your hands. The problems and the pressures so you won't give your glory, give glory to where it's due. Because if you if you learn how to praise God in the midst of your problems, if you learn how to praise God and, and learn how real it is, you learn how real your worship is. You'll learn that your worship is a weapon. Yeah. Hallelujah. Learn that you can worship and change things. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The money will come through your worship. Bills will get paid through the worship. Bodies will get healed through worship. For the weapons of our warfare. I'm not carnal, but it's mighty. Oh God, don't you let the devil steal your worship. See, he takes your worship. I feel the Holy Ghost, so I got to move. He takes your worship because he takes the passion out of your worship. He'll make you feel like you're just doing it to be doing it. He'll take the passion out of your worship. You can... You used to get into worship where you'd be in the zone and could, 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 could shut everything else out of you. But now the devil done made it so that when you worship, you're paying attention to little things that'll snatch you out. But have you ever understood why the devil's doing that? Because he know that the breakthrough is at the, at the brink of the worship. Hallelujah. I need somebody to care. The breakthrough is at the brink of the worship. When you learn how to give him praise. I'm going to be quiet now. I just want three people just to get into worship. Just three. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Know you that you're worshiping out of poverty. You're worshiping out of sickness into healing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You worship, you worship, and you worship. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Chief. Hallelujah. I heard God tell me to tell you he's going to do it. I heard God said, I'm going to do it. I don't know who I'm talking to, but I heard God say, I'm going to do it because of this worship. Hallelujah. My soul make her boast in the Lord. And the humble therein shall be glad. Uh, oh, magnify the Lord with me. And let us exalt his name together. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I feel healing in the atmosphere. 
Hallelujah. Come unto me, all ye that are burdened and heavy laden. And I will give thee rest. Hallelujah. My now. That is, that is, that is. Come on out. Come on out. <laughs> come on out. Come on out. <laughs> I see you worshiping your way out. Come on out. Come on out. Come on out. Come on out. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It will not be this way. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. My soul loves you. My heart loves you. My mind loves you. Come on, give God a hand clap in this place. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah, yeah, I love them hollering saying. That's right, stand up, stand up. Yee! Hallelujah. That's right. Uh, praise him. Hallelujah. 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 You got to learn how to throw your praise in the pot. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. My God. My God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. This is not the end, this is just the beginning. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. This is not the end. This is just the beginning. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I want every, every, every faithful tither to prepare yourself now. If you are a faithful tither, I want you to, to prepare yourself. Need a tithe envelope? Put your hand in the air. We'll get you one right away. You tithe. You sow where you grow. Hallelujah. If you need a tithe envelope, we want you to get one. We want you to become faithful. Hallelujah, brother. Brother, uh, Will came in my office and said he was watching this hour-long show on Benny Hinn. And he was telling me how Benny Hinn was apologizing for the money that he received. And he was apologizing to the people. And I said to him, I said, I'm sorry, but I don't believe that. I said, because when people give, they gave in faith. See, I had to get myself right because the Lord spoke to me one day. My dad had a preacher to come in and preach, and he was asking for a lot of money. And I went and talked about the man and said he was all about the money and all of that. And my dad uh, was talking to me concerning, concerning this guy. And um, the Lord spoke to me, and the Lord said they gave out of faith. He says, after they gave out of faith, it's not up to the preacher no more. <laughs> he said, now it's in my hands. God said, now I got to do what I said I was going to do. Because they get, it don't matter what they tried to swindle them out of. I'm God. <laughs> and he told me, the Lord said, I'm going to. Fix everybody that gave. Because I couldn't believe it. Because every night the guy would come after he'd raised all his money and he would have a testimony. And people would stand up and say what the Lord did. And I'm like, Lord, how do you people still give him testimonies if he's a cheater? He said, because it ain't up to the man. I answer faith. Hallelujah. That's what God told me. So I just told Brother Will. I said, Will, I believe that everybody that gave in faith wouldn't take the money back if he offered it. 
I say, I, I, because I believe that what they gave based on the faith that they gave, God had to reward. Now, what if God, I told Willis, so what if God say, okay, you get, take it, you can give it back. But everything I gave to you after that and because of that, I'm going to take it back. <laughs> what if God say, since you take him back, I'm going to take, that's what you said, since, you take, since we take him back. Let me take back all that I did for you because of the seed that you gave. I, I tell you, keep that seed. Because where I was and where I am now, God has showed himself faithful to me. Can anybody testify and say, I, God has shown himself faithful? Hallelujah. So when you give, you understand that you're giving out of faith. Jesus healed that woman with the issue of blood. And he told her, he said, your faith has made you whole. I'm here to tell you that you can believe God in faith and he will reward your faith. I need every faithful tither, every faithful tither. If you are a faithful tither, I want you to make sure, I want you to make sure that you represent today. I want you to make sure, don't you let the enemy talk you out of paying your tithe, giving your tithe. Give your tithe and watch God do the rest. He's going to show up for you. If you bring ye all the tithe into the storehouse, that there may be meat in mine house, and prove me now, he would say the Lord of hosts, and see when I open up a window of heaven and pour you out a blessing that you will not have room enough to receive. I will rebuke the devourer for your name's sake, and all nations shall call you blessed. Hallelujah. Blessed in the city. Blessed in the field. Blessed in your going out and blessed in your coming in. How many of you believe that you're blessed today? Come on, bring all your tithe. All of you that are tithers, bring it now. 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 Praise the name. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. I hear y'all when it's sounding good. <laughs> yes, God. Let me tell you something. I'm only talking to those that can hear it and that can. You're about to experience the best days of your life. Yeah. You're about to experience the best days of your life. I'm praying against stress even now. I'm a praying, I'm praying that God will allow you, watch this, not to remove the stress. I'm praying that God won't remove the stress, but he'll show you how to manage it. I don't want him to move it. I want him to show you how to get past it. I want to show you how to work it, how, how to deal with it and live. <laughs> God can teach you how to do that. Because let me tell you something, you ain't got the word. You choose to worry. Nah, I'm speaking to spirit right now. I feel the Holy Ghost right now. You ain't got the worry, you, you choosing it. You choosing it, I, and watch this, with that you choosing to spike your blood pressure. With that you choosing to, 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 to allow your arteries to break down because you letting this worry get to you when you, guess what? You can't do nothing about it no way. Yeah, you can't do nothing. If they're going to take it, they're going to take it. What can you do? If God going to let them take it, then God must say it ain't for you. Accept it. 
God don't he trying to let you go back backwards. He trying to get some stuff out your life because your life is cluttered. I hear the Holy Spirit. Sometimes your life gets so cluttered that you got so much in it that God got to move some stuff so he can add some new stuff. Amen. Father, we thank you right now for all of the titles. I got all of the titles. All of the titles. Let us all stand. Father, in the name of Jesus, we glorify you and we praise you right now in the name of Jesus. We thank you for every tither, every giver, every gift. We thank you, Lord God, for their obedience to your ordinance. Father, it's not up to us. It's up to you. They've given their tithe. They've done what you asked them to do. Now, God, we're just waiting on your miracle, waiting for you to bless us, waiting for you to keep us, waiting for you to do what you have said you're going to do. And we give your name all of the glory and all of the honor. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I believe God. Now somebody give God a praise in this place. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Let me get moving real quick. It's about 12, 1145. I want you to turn your Bibles with me to uh, the book of Numbers the 11th chapter. Remember the 11th chapter. And I, I want to talk to you today. I want to talk to you today. What you want me to do, Lord? I'm here for you. Tell me what to do, God. Tell me which way to take it, which way to turn it. In the name of Jesus. Feed your people, Lord Jesus. Give me a word that will help them. In the name of Jesus. Speak to me clearly, Lord. Remove all my faults, my problems, my issues, Lord. Anything that will uh, hinder your voice and hinder your service on today. I ask that you will remove it, Lord. Clean me, purge me, wash me, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Lord, I want to see through your eyes. I want to hear your voice. I want to be your vessel today. I need your help, Lord Jesus. I'm only a mere man. And I'm only here, oh God, because you put me here. So I need you to do it for me. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Would you turn your Bibles to Numbers, the 11th chapter? And uh, let me make sure. Numbers. Just there. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Y'all praying for me? I need you to pray for me. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Um, I want to talk to you from this idea your neighbor and say it's time to take territory. I need to talk to you concerning taking territory because 
in order to take territory, you have to understand the battle. You understand that battle and to battle is to take territory. It's so important for you to understand that you cannot take territory without wanting to go to battle. I hope I'm helping somebody already. If you're looking for God to do something major in your life, you're looking to go into battle. If you're looking for uh, a big change if you're looking for a big blessing there is no need for you to look at it if you're not ready to war for it hallelujah hallelujah we must understand that in moving in God God will never allow us to stay the same. Hallelujah. There must be growth in God or God is not involved. Can I help somebody here? Everything that God makes grows. The trees grow, the grass grow, birds grow, fish grow. All of it grows. And I'm reminded of a story in the Bible that Jesus looked at a fig tree and said, by the time I come back here, if ain't no figs in here, we're going to curse you and you're going to die. So therefore, God is looking for growth. Look at your neighbor and say, God is looking for growth. If you want to stay the same, you're out of the will of God. Uh, if y'all help me preach, I'm going to preach here. Uh -huh. If you want to stay in the same predicament, you're out of the will of God. God don't want you living on uh, 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 your social security check, all the, I'm not going to say, so, uh, uh, social services for the rest of your life. God don't want you penny pinching for the rest of your life. God don't want you uh, at McDonald's and, and thinking that McDonald's is your form of prosperity. No, 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 no. In God, there is growth. I ain't saying you can't start at McDonald's. I'm, I'm not saying that. I'm, say, I'm saying that you got to think that I'm starting here, but God wants me there. Is there anybody in here that know that God wants better? God wants better. God wants better out of you. God wants more out of you. God wants you to become more. And in order for you to become more, there are battles that you must encounter. Some of you have got battles in family members. Some of you have battles in money. Some of you have battles in sickness and, and health in your body. Some of you have battles in all forms of your life. And in order for you to take the territory that God has given you, you must understand every territory comes with a battle. You got a battle in your weight. Trust me, honey. In order to take territory, you got to fight yourself. Come on, Willis. Get up out of this bed. You want to get rid of that jelly? You got a jam. <laughs> in order, because it takes a battle, to get the territory. I'm telling you, if you ain't willing to battle, guess what? 
You're going to stay on that couch and your jelly ain't going to jam. I'm trying to help somebody. So therefore, if you're not ready to battle, don't even look at the terror. Don't even look. And you know what I found out? You want me to tell you what I found out? People want stuff given. People want stuff given to them with no fight. And I found out when you got stuff given to you without a fight, your value of the thing is lessened. Oh, can I help you? You don't care about stuff you ain't fought for. You ain't fight for it. You don't have enough value to it. But if you say, I done cut myself. I done sweat over this. I, I done cried over this. I, I done prayed. I done, I done struggled over this. And, and that's why can't nobody tell me I ain't supposed to have it because I put too much in. Can I help somebody today? You got to want the battle to get the territory. Some of you need to write that down. Some of you need to look at your neighbor and say, you got to want a battle. You got to want a battle. See, when I was young, boy, I was ready for it. Let me tell you something. I was ready for a fight. I was ready. And you know why? Watch this, watch it. Because I knew I could. <laughs> See, I was trained. I was trained the streets, trained me how to go. I, done got, I got so good. Watch this. And... This is going to help some people here. I got so good, Billy, that I didn't have to be mad to fight. It was a game. It, 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 was, it was a game. In the middle of fight, watch this. I could think. In the middle of the fight, I was paying attention while my opponent, watch this, was windmilling. Go on windmill. I'll pick you off. I'm trying to help you. I'm trying to help you because watch this. You're windmilling. And the enemy is a trained fighter. And see, what happens is the reason why you're failing in life is because you so uh, uh, outrageously swing. <laughs> and, 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 and watch this, watch this. You ready for this? You praying but mad. You, you fighting but you mad fighting. And the devil just said, okay, go on, swing. Let me hit your kids. <clears throat> keep on swinging, keep on. Let me hit your body. <clears throat> and we, and we, we, oh God, oh God. But we strategically trying to take the territory. We ain't training ourselves. I can't be mad and pray. I gotta be, I gotta be full of faith and pray. Strategizing. Because if we're not strategizing, we're disconnecting ourselves from the territory. Can I help somebody here today? Watch this verse. Let's start at verse uh, 26 of Numbers, the 13th chapter. 
And they went up and came unto Moses and to Aaron and to all the congregation of the children of Israel unto the wilderness of Paran and to Kadush and brought back word unto them and unto all the congregation and showed them the fruit of the land. And they told him and said, We came to the land whither thou hast sent us, and surely it flows with milk and honey. And this is the fruit of it. Nevertheless, the people be strong that dwell in the land, and the cities are walled, and very great. And moreover, we saw the children of Anak there. And the Amaleks dwelt in the land of the south. And the Hittites and the Jebusites and the Amorites dwelt in the mountains. And the, and the Canaanites dwelt by the sea and by the coast of Jordan. Let me stop right there so I can bring you up to date. This is the children of Israel had sent spies into the land of Canaan. Um, Caleb and a few of the other spies went to go uh, see and spy out the land that God had promised them. My first point to you today is, have you spotted the land that God showed you? Uh, have you seen what God wants you to see? Have, have you seen where God wants you to be? Oh, I woke up this morning and I, and I put my brown suit on and when I walked past the mirror, I said, this boy going to be a millionaire. And the reason that I said that is because God showed me something. Hallelujah. God showed me a territory. And when God shows you a territory, you got to learn that that is your territory and your territory alone. Oh, you can't take everybody to where God wants to take you. You can't expect your friends to be what God wants you to be. When God shows you a territory, he'll send it in your dream. He'll send it by somebody else. He'll show you somebody else that's going to be like you when you grow. Because God will show you your territory. I need somebody that believes God say, I got my eye on my territory. <laughs> Woo, it didn't get to you like I wanted to. I need you to look at another neighbor and say, I got my eye on my territory. One more time since we're doing it for the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Look at somebody and say, I got my eye. On my territory. I need you to understand where I am now. I will not be always. I need you to understand. I might be hurting now. But I'm going to be happy. In my territory. I, I need you to understand. I may be penny pinching now. But in my new territory. There's another ending bank account. I need you to understand. I got new territory and in order for you to understand where I'm going you got to understand I'm not going to be here always see see you got to understand that, that that watch this watch this I'm going to touch I'm going to touch a conversation now you got to understand that everybody ain't meant to go where you go you got to understand that some folk, God just put in a season of your life that you can get your lesson from them and let them run you in the ground. Let them talk about you. Let them mistreat you. And then they go about their business. Why? Because God needed that person to make you ready for where he about to take you. Everybody ain't gone. You gotta Don't get mad when folk leave you. Don't get mad when folk walk out your life. Don't get mad when folk make you mad and you don't want to deal with them no more. Don't get mad when push people push your phone to the red instead of the green. It's a, it's a season that God is trying to show you it's a deadline for them and it's a beginning for you. You got to understand God is trying to 
stop some folk from getting into your territory. Hallelujah. The problem with us is we want everybody to go. We want to we try to save everybody. We want to try to save family members, save friends, save loved ones. But I'm here to tell you, their loved one, your friend, your family member is the reason why you ain't where you are right now. You're trying to drag people. Trying to drag people into your place of prosperity. Uh, God told me to tell you, let them loose. I not my sheep. You caught them. I not my say. I heard God tell me to tell you, let them go. Hallelujah! I guarantee you, when they see what uh, where you go after them, they will understand that they could never go. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! In this book, in this book, we see right here that 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 Aaron and Moses were confronted by the spies and they, when, they, when they came back they, they they told them of the land they said we see what's going on in the land in a land is beautiful see i need you to understand that uh, uh, from the days of jacob uh, 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 and when he had joseph and and joseph went to egypt and 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 and, and the other uh, 12 boys they had to get the food from jo from joseph in egypt watch this after that egyptian took the israelites captive so therefore the israelites had had no land. You need to understand they had no place of inhabitant. They had no place where they could lay their head. They had no place where their children could play out in the front yard. They had no place where they could uh, uh, pop their uh, animals and their livestock. So therefore they were living on other people. Oh yeah. Y'all don't want to talk to me today. Yeah, the children of Israel, God's folk, was, was waiting on Israel, Egypt to bless them. Uh -huh. God's people were slaves to Egypt, so therefore they didn't have a land. Uh, so they didn't have nowhere. That's why you ought to be thankful when God give you something. You ought to be happy when God bless you with your own. Because right here in this text, they didn't have their own. God's folk didn't have their own. God's people. And God told them, I want to give you a land of your own. But I need you to look at the text. Watch this. This is what blew me away. God wanted to give him a land, but the land didn't come without inhabitants. God gave him a land that folk already lived on. <laughs> watch this, watch this. They already, folk was enjoying the land that God gave Israel. I need y'all to catch this here. <laughs> Folk was eating them grapes. Folk was enjoying all that. And I need you to understand, watch this. Some of your territory, other people are inhabiting. Can I give you some scripture? He says, he said, for the, for the wealth of the wicked is inhabited. For that wealth that belongs to you. That money that you're going to get, somebody already got a hands on. Somebody using your money already. You just ain't ready to battle for it. Nevertheless, the people be strong that dwell in the land. Sin is a wall. Very great. Moreover, the children of Anak. In other words, you've given us something that seems to be shut up. Seems as if I can't get to it. I gotta go. 
And the Amaleks dwell in the land in the south. The Hittites, Jebusites, the Amorites dwell in the mountains. And the Canaanites dwell by the sea, by the coast of Jordan. Verse 30, and Caleb stilled the people for four more. And said, let us go up at once and possess it, for we are well able to overcome. We are well able. Watch this. But the men that went up with him said, we be not able to go up against for they are stronger than we. They brought up an evil report of the land which they had searched unto the children of Israel, saying that the land through which we have gone such it is a land eaten up of inhabitants, is used up. And all the people saw, we saw in it were men of great stature. And there we saw giants, the sons of Enoch, which come of, which come of giants, and we were in our own sights as grasshoppers. And so were we in their sight. I want to talk to you today about the mind of a fighter. In this text, we see that there is a promised land. But in Israel, there's two types of minds. I'm not going to be with you long, but I need to talk to you about the mind of a fighter. There was two insights. Of the same land. One. Was. A mindset. Of overcoming. And another. Was a mindset. Of being conquered. In order for you to. To, 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 to get what God has for you. You're going to have to have a mind of an overcomer. You can't look at the land and see the giants. Every land come with giants. Every people come with uh, trouble. Every, every territory come with a fight. You can't look at it with a fight. You got to look at it like Caleb looked at it. Caleb stilled the people and he said, let us go up at once. Let, let's, let us not take any longer. But let us go up at once and possess the land. Your job as a believer is to realize that the battle is for the territory. In order for me to win, I got to want a battle. In order for me to uh, get where God wants for me, it's going to be some giants that I may have to fight. But I'm going because I want the territory. And watch this. You got to want your territory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You got to want what God wants for you more than even uh, 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 your your. Your safe haven. How many of you want what God wants for you? How many of you looking for what God wants for you? Caleb said, let us steal the people. Let us go up at once and possess the land. I'm here to tell you, you got to be ready to take over and to take your territory. You got to get ready because the time is now that God has allowed 
called you and afforded you uh, the mind. He said, I brought you this far because I'm ready to give you what I have for you. Oh, I'm talking to somebody in here. The reason that you made it this far is because God is ready for you to walk into new things, to have new things, to be blessed beyond measures. But you got to be ready to battle. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, are you ready to battle? You got to understand that this fight is going to be won by someone that's ready to jump to action. Somebody that's ready to spring, hallelujah, into action and do the will of God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. See, you can't be afraid in this season. So we were dealing with two type of people. One person, they were fearful. They were fearful of what it was going to take. They were fearful for what they had to go through. See, and if you have your mind on the work, you might not do the job. But if you have your mind on the reward, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. See, you got to understand that your territory is your reward. The blessing is your reward. I got a question for you. Do you have enough? fight to get your reward? Do you have enough growl to get your reward? Or are you bark and no bite? Are you are just uh, uh, scared and, and acting like you're ready? But God wants more for you. God wants you to have better. But you gotta be ready to go to war. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, I'm ready to fight for what's mine. So you got to understand that in order for you to get at what God has for you, you got to get a boldness in your spirit. The Bible says that when David, he got on the battlefield and he saw the giant, he said, who is this uncircumcised? Who is this uncircumcised? In other words, he not even anointed. In other words, he don't even got God on his side. Who is this uncircumcised Philistine that will defile the armies of the Most High God? See, when you understand who is on your side, when you understand who got your back, you can understand that the battle it's not yours, but it's the Lord. The Bible says that David, he went into the king's chamber in order to fight the battle. And the Bible said that he put on the king's uh, armor. He tried his breastplate and he grabbed his shield and he grabbed his sword. But the Bible said that he threw that stuff off of him because he said, I don't know how to war like that. See, you need to understand that your war may not be like my war. And my war may not be like your war. But thanks be to God, if God be for us, who can be against us? So the Bible said that David went by the river and he grabbed five smooth stones. Who in the world could believe that some rocks could beat some shields? That some rocks, hallelujah, that some rocks could beat a sword. But if God be for you, I'm here to tell you the rock of my salvation, the rock of praise, the rock of thanksgiving can bring down the big giant. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, if you just throw one rock, if you just throw one rock, if you just throw one rock, I worship. I'm entitled to believe that the giant 
gotta fall if you throw your rock up prayer the giant gotta fall you gotta have a mind of battle because the territory is yours look at your neighbor and say neighbor the territory is yours it's yours it's yours healing is yours victory is yours you gotta fight for but it's already awarded to you God already he promised you from the mountain to the river it's yours and all you gotta do is take the land for the Bible said that the violent take it by force sometimes you gotta have a violent a violent worship you gotta have a violent a violent prayer I'm ready to get my reward I'm a prayer until my children turn around I'm a prayer till my body responds to me I'm a believer I'm a believer because the battle is not mine but it's the Lord it's not mine but it's the Lord and he gonna see you through how far you never say neighbor He's going to see you through. He's going to see you through. He's going to see you through the storm. He's going to see you through. He's going to see you through the trouble. He's going to see you through. But put your fighting clothes on. And get ready. Get ready. Get ready. Get ready. For warfare. Get ready. God wants to do and you gotta be ready come on somebody give God praise you gotta be ready hallelujah 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 glory to God God wants that's a new territory Listen, there's new territory, but it's going to take a battle. It's going to take a fight. It's going to take a fight. I need you to look at somebody and say, you got to fight for this. You gotta. You not mine. That thing just hit over there. I need, I need to hit over here like it hit over there. I need you to minister. You see your neighbor minister to him and say, "You gotta fight for this. You gotta fight. You gotta, you gotta fight for this. You gotta. You not mine. This battle. Watch this. This battle is for those that are willing." Willing to fight. The territory got to mean enough for you. But you ain't afraid to war. Watch this. Not going back to what you used to do. Got to mean so much. That I'm willing to fight. I'm going to pray. So I ain't got to go back. Yes, Lord. <laughs> I'm getting happy, y'all. I'm going to dance because I ain't going back. I'm going to worship because I'm not going back. See, I need you to understand this. Watch this. It's either take the new land or go back to slavery. <laughs> See, watch this. You got to be sick, so sick of your, 
uh, of your immediate place. That you say to yourself, I will never return. You got to be so sick of being broke that you look at your wallet and say, I'm never going to be this broke again. I'm going to believe God until he filled my wallet so much that uh, it overflows into my bank. I'm going to believe God that I'm never going back. I need somebody to touch this with me. Tap on it with me. I'm never going back. I'm never going back. I'm never going to be that sick again. I'm never going back. I'm going to never be that hurt again. I'm never going back. I'm going to praise so I won't go you fight I need you to catch this you're fighting for new territory Your whole life about to change. You're fighting for new territory. That's what you're fighting for. You're fighting for new territory. I, I, I need somebody to catch this. Have you ever been to another city? You ever been to another city? And you get there, and it's, when you get there, guess what? You don't know where nothing is. <laughs> Ooh. If you receive it, I'll give it to you. God about to put you in a place where everything you was familiar Well, you don't want to know in that net no more. You're just, just waiting on God to show and release stuff to you. Because God said your whole territory. I wish somebody could catch this. Your whole territory about to change. Everywhere you look, it look like new. I got news for you. Everywhere you look, it's about to look new. Uh, you fight for new territory. You want to know why the devil getting on your nerves? He don't want you to get into your new place. You wonder why you crying every day? It's because the devil don't want you to get to your new place. Uh, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. But God told me to tell you, if you learn how to praise today, if you learn how to worship in spite of, if you learn how to battle, God said, I got new for you. God said, I'm going to open up a door. God said, I'm going to show myself. In other words, eyes have not seen, or ears have not heard, neither has entered into the heart what I got for you. In other words, get ready for what I'm about to do. Get ready for what I'm about to show you. Get ready. Get a praise of your lips because you're walking in victory get a worship in your hand because this place that I show you will be flowing will be flowing will be flowing it's gonna be flowing it's gonna be flowing it's gonna flow 
it's gonna work out. It's gonna show me. It's gonna flow with milk and honey. Come on, somebody give God praise. It takes a battle. Listen, I'm about to finish. But before I close, before I finish, I need you to understand that this next praise, I'm not going to push you on this one. This praise is for your territory. God said to tell the people, first lady, Tasha, take, take this face value. Because the devil doing everything he can to snatch your worship. You see it. You see it. I dare you to declare, to declare today that Satan can't have your joy. Woo! You can take my money. You can take my job. Take my health. But I refuse to turn loose my joy. Grab that side. Pull it, pull it. You can't let it go. I know the devil trying to take it from you. I know you trying to I know he trying to take your joy but I dare you to get a fight in your spirit I dare you to get a fight in your spirit and say Satan the Lord you can't take my joy give me my joy back give me my peace back my job. I'll fight over my peace. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I want every praiser just lift your hands right now and begin to give God praise. Your territory. Come on, give him praise. Praise him for your territory. Praise him as you begin to open your mouth. I need some faithful believers to say it's mine. It's mine. It's mine. It's mine. It's mine. It's It's going to take a real worship. Glory to God. Yes, Lord. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's, don't stop. Don't stop. Yes, don't stop. Don't stop. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Praise the first lady. Yes, Lord. That's right. Wrestle for it. Wrestle for it. Wrestle. Wrestle for it. Wrestle. Wrestle for it. Wrestle. Jacob, Jacob said, I'm not going to let you go until you bless me. The battle is for the territory. The battle is for the territory. Listen, listen, I need you to understand this. I need you to understand this. Kira, I want you to listen to me. Won't you hear me? If there's a giant that you're facing, I need you to understand he's guarding your territory. If you're facing an issue, 
I need you to understand that that's just proof that there's new territory. If it's something you're going through right now, it's because there is new territory. And the devil trying his best to keep you out of your territory. So if you going through the troubles, understand you can't afford to give up. You got to bring this giant down. Because that territory is yours. You can't give up now, baby. You only got one more giant. <laughs> you can't be stressed out now. You only got one more giant. Praise him until the giant falls. Worship until the giant come down. Glory to God. Give him praise in this place. I'm finished. I'm finished. Finish. Father, we thank you today. We praise you today. Ebony, come here, Ebony. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I, I want to pray for you, but I need to speak to your spirit. Because... There's a real anointing on your life. There's a real genuine anointing on your life. And the devil almost had you. Ah, you're still wrestling now. But he's trying to stop you from getting into your new territory. The devil don't want you to win. The devil wants you to give up. There was even one time where you were about to kill yourself. You were about to give up. Slit your wrists. Get rid of it all. You felt like you failed your mom, your family. But God told me to tell you, I got a plan for you. Yee! I got a plan for you. I got a plan for your life. Because you are a testimony, a living testimony. And today, I put the fight back. <laughs> I give you your fight back. I want you to lift your hands. I want you to lift them high, lift them high, lift them high. I want you to do me a favor. Forget everybody in this room. Because watch this. They are not what's important at this moment. Is your relationship with God being totally, fully restored. Hallelujah. Today, watch this. The battle going to begin. He going to take the taste out your mouth. Feel the Holy Ghost now. Hallelujah. You going to start fighting this thing because this new territory belongs to you. You're supposed to live a prosperous life, a long life. Hallelujah. And God told me to tell you today that if you can win this battle, everything is going to change. As I lay my hands on you, I'm canceling every plan of the enemy. I rebuke the small voices. I rebuke this thing that you wrestle. God said, I'm going to purge your spirit. I'm going to clean your spirit right now. When it come up in your mind, you're going to fight it. Now, it's time for you to fight it. So you got new territory, baby. In the name of Jesus. That's right. Accept it, accept it, accept it. Feel the Holy Ghost. Let him have his 
Change her right now. Change her right now. Change her right now. Change her right now. Everything she done against you, Lord, she's sorry for it right now. In the name of Jesus, restore her, Lord. Restore her. Restore her. Restore. Her. Get it all, get it all. Oh, glory to God. Glory to God. You got to repent, baby. You got to turn away from it. Repenting ain't saying I'm sorry. It's not going back. Repenting is not going back. You can't go back, baby. You can't go back. You can't go back. When you get up, I want you to hear pastor's voice saying, you can't go back. You can't go back. You can't go back. You got to be fully restored. He can take it from you. He can take it out of you. He can take it from you. You ain't got to live with that. You don't have to. It ain't the will of God. And I rebuke it. The blood of Jesus be against it. The blood of Jesus. It's new territory, new friends, new people. God going to put you in connection with. God said a new territory. Cover her, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Cover her right now. Cover her, Lord. Cover her. I'm looking for a change, mind. Looking for a change in mind. A change in mind. A change. Change. Change her. Change her. Change her. Change her, change her Lord. From the inside. She's sorry, Lord, for what she did. She's sorry for who she's been, Lord. Change her, Lord. Hey, glory to the heart. Somebody praise God in the place. Please, please help me. Help her, help her, help her. Clap because she's changing. Clap because she's changing. Clap because she's free. No more bondage. No more bondage. No more bondage. She free. She free from it. She Listen, the clap is the sound of the chain breaking. As you clapping, the sound of the chains is breaking. That's right, break them chains. Break those chains. It's done. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Hey, Brickhouse, I want you to get her number. I want you to keep her in personal prayer. I want you to keep her in personal prayer. Hallelujah. I want you to pray for her. I ain't telling you loan her no money. I ain't telling you do nothing but pray for her. Just pray for her. Pray for her. Keep her in prayer. Let her be an ear. Let her tell you whatever she need to tell you. Whatever. Whatever. Sometimes we got to learn to listen without judgment. Amen. Without judgment. Yeah. Because there's anointing on her life. Anointing on that one too. Jesus' name. Come on, give God a hand clap today. Praise the name of the Lord. Listen, I need to, we need to get an offering and we're getting out of here. Hallelujah. There's a change. 
There's a change. It will not be the same. It will not. Will not. Yeah. Uh-huh. It will not be the same. Will not be the same. It will not be the same. Will not be the same. Listen, I need every believer that will. I need every believer that will, that can. I need you to get the very best, the very best that you can. I need you to get the very best that you can. need you to get your best, your best. Some of you said that you would sow a $25 seed today. I need you to do that. Thank you so much, Brother Will. For those of you that could sow a $50 seed or a $100 seed, I need you to do that also. I don't have the hundred dollars today, Mama. I can do sixty-one. I did the best I could. Amen. Amen. Somebody else can do the whole hundred. I need your help to do it if you can. If you can do a hundred dollars, I need you to do it today. Do it in my stead today. Thank you so much, Mother. Up. Oh, thank you so much, Mama. Says she's helping me out. So I'm at 81. Thank you so much, Mother. I love you for that. Amen. Is there anyone else that can help me? Up, oh, so I got somebody to help me get 100. Thank you so much, Will. Thank you so much. I need everybody that will to get the very best you can, the very best, and bring it on up to the offering table. Whatever you have, whatever you have, can you bring it now? Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed the word today. I hope you did. Thank you so much. 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 Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Thank you so much. They're still coming. People are still coming. You're still coming. Thank you so much. Thank you too much. Thank you so much. I thank you so much for those of you that don't have the hundred but give the best you can. Because everything that you give helps us. Every dollar. So I thank you so much. I just thank you for being obedient and being a cheerful giver. God said he'll bless the cheerful giver. Amen. They're still coming. Still coming. Still coming. We're getting closer and closer. Anyone else?
$138. We got what we need, baby. Uh, clap your hands, everyone. You thank you so much. Thank you so much. We're going to stand and offer this unto the Lord. All things come of thee, O Lord, and of thine own, as we give to thee. Three, two, one, let's sing. All things come of thee, O Lord, and of thine own, as we give of thee. Amen. My wife is coming. Let us all stand to our feet. We thank you so much for each and every visitor for coming um, to visit us. We hope that you enjoyed the service. But we ask you to stay, go run and get something to eat and come back at 3 o'clock. The men's department are having a service um, at 3 o'clock. Also, I need to speak with every woman of Zion Word for five minutes following morning service. Let us pray. Father, it is in your name, God, we say thank you for your goodness, your kindness, and your mercy. Father, we thank you, God, for the word. We thank you for your anointing dwelling in this place on today. Father, we pray, God, that you will continue to bless us, keep us. We thank you for an amazing week this week. We thank you for prosperity. We thank you for good health. We thank you for your divine protection on this week. Father, we even accept the blessings, God, that you're going to send to us this week. And we love you, we praise you, and we honor you. It is in Jesus' name that we do pray. Amen. You are dismissed except for the women of Zion. Amen.